All right, we are, we are recording. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see what's on my table right now. So let me just switch cameras real quick. All right, uh, there we go. All right, so now you guys are seeing my table and the art workbook that we're gonna be using today. So with our workbook, it says kindergarten, make sure it says kindergarten because that's you, what you guys are. And then on the bottom here, it says name. If you guys can put your name right here if you haven't done so yet, make sure you put your name right there. All right, good job. All right, so next step. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my art workbook. Uh, there's gonna be stuff done already because I was teaching another class, but um, it's gonna be a quick preview of what we're gonna be doing. So what we're gonna be doing is line. If you've done this page already, and if you did it without me, don't worry about it. We're gonna do it again, okay? So give me one sec. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this part over here, and I'm gonna cover this part over here, so we start nice and fresh. All right, so what we talked about the other day, or other week, I should say, we talked about different types of line, and I do remember that doing that, a couple uh, days ago, actually a couple weeks ago, actually, it was right here. So I think we did this on week two. We talked about straight, zigzag, wavy, and curly lines. And then we made a picture out of it. If I can find it. Yeah, we made a picture out of it. So in this workbook, it's kind of like a going over what we talked about already. So the first one, when it comes to drawing touch of lines, the first one says straight. So I want you guys to take either a pencil, a marker or a crayon. And I want you guys to try to copy that. So the first one is a straight line. So take your writing utensil, your drawing utensil, and I want you guys to draw a straight line. Try your best, okay? You guys following along? Good job. And again, if you don't have this worksheet, it's okay. You can always do this on a blank sheet of paper like how I am. All right, the next one. The next one's called wavy, like a wavy line. And again, you don't have to use crayons like how I am. You can just use a pencil, a pen, anything you can to make it so you're copying the lines. There we go, wavy line. Pretty cool, huh? All right, my next one. The next one is called zigzag. So we've done this before. So it shouldn't be too hard. Let's try it out. Zigzag. Just like this. All right. The next one is called dashed lines. So you can sometimes you see this on the edge of a paper or when it directs you to cut something on a piece of paper or maybe on the middle of a road. Dashed lines are just kind of like Small dashes, just like this. Ta-da, really easy, right? All right. My next one, it's gonna get a little bit harder. A little bit harder. And if I'm going too fast, just to unmute yourself and just let me know. Because sometimes I'm not seeing everybody. If I'm going too fast. All right. Here I go. The next one is called squiggly, or I like to call it is loop-de-loops. So I'm just gonna loop it up like this. Just like that. Pretty cool. All right. The next one is a favorite of mine. This one's called castle lines. I bet you guys can guess where the line, uh, the name came from to make it look like a castle. Kind of cool, right? That one was a little more hard. All right, I'm going to slow down a tad bit. I see you guys working really hard. I might be going a little too fast. All right, for those of us who are at, uh, ahead, the next one says shark. Shark, shark, shark. Maybe I should do gray or dark blue. I'll choose this color. All right, the next one is a shark. 
Sometimes you just gotta curve it up and curve back down. Curve back up, curve back down. And you have the shark pattern or shark line, just like this. All right, the last one reminds me of cinnamon rolls. And they are just swirls. OK, I'll slow down a little bit. Thanks for letting me know. With you letting me know, you are helping everyone out. Yes, sir. Kaylee, what's up? Um, I can't do the shark lines. That's OK. It takes practice. Sometimes it's kind of like the zigzag line, but you just curve it instead. The zigzag and shark one are very similar. All right, I'm going to do the swirls next. So I'm just going to make it look like pigtails, kind of like that. Um, and again, if I'm going too fast, uh, it's OK. I will slow down in a minute. OK, just try to catch up. And you don't have to do the whole row. You don't have to go all the way. There we go. All right, so I just finished mine. I'm going to move my example to the right of my desk. So you guys can see I did it twice. So once I did it with the first group and I did it again with you guys. Pretty cool. All right. I think we have time. All right. I'm seeing a lot of hands it's moving now. still. So we're going to pause a little bit. Um, uh, yes, what can I do for you? Um, you did you go with the first grade? Uh, no, you guys are my first group. I did not teach first grade yet. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to show you guys where you guys should be next. So if this was the front of the workbook and we wrote our names on it, if you guys just turn around the front of that workbook, you will see a page that looks like this. It has your name, date, and it should have a blank rectangular piece of space right here. So mine's not blank because I did an example from last class, so I'm gonna cover that up. Again, you should be in the back of this page right here, so the back of this one. All right. Now, what I want you guys to do for the next five minutes is you're going to be having to draw each and every single type of line in a drawing of your choice on this page. So if you want to draw like a neighborhood, a monster, an animal, maybe a city or a beach, using all of these lines, you guys can. So here's my example from last class I just taught at nine o'clock. So I kind of just drew uh, a castle with funky trees. So I included everything. So here's my wavy lines. Here's my straight lines. Here's my dashed lines. Here's my shark line, my swirls, my squigglies, and even my zigzags and the castle line. So I was able to add every single line in my picture. I'm gonna do it again with you guys. So again, if you want to follow along, you can. Or if you want to go on your own and draw your own picture, you're allowed to do that too. So I'm going to do my own picture. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit different than the first group. So why don't I do this? I'm going to draw my straight line right here. Whoop. And then I'm going to draw a wavy line right beside it. OK. And then I'm going to do a wavy line going down and then to the angle like this, to the corner of my paper. A little more difficult. I'm doing something a little bit different than the first group, if you guys haven't noticed. So I did straight line, and I did wavy line already. Awesome. All right, I need to do zigzag somehow. Hmm, where can I put zigzag? I know a perfect spot. Let me put it in the sand of my beach. Zigzag. Just here and there. Oh, you know what I can also do with zigzag? 
I completely forgot. Sometimes with zigzag, you guys can kind of make birds out of them. There you go. In the sky. That'd be kind of cool. Dash lines. Where should I put dash lines? Hmm. Maybe I'll make a beach blanket. So here's some more straight lines. And then with dash lines, maybe I should make it part of my blanket. All right, squiggly line. What can I do with a squiggly line? Hmm. Maybe I can add some seaweed over here. I don't know. Um, castle. I could probably build a castle on the beach. There you go. There's my castle on the beach. Sharks. Well, that's pretty obvious. I can probably put a shark in the water. A couple sharks here and there. And swirls. Where can I put swirls? I have no idea. I guess I'll just put it in the sky. It might not make sense, but it's okay. Cool. I was able to use every single line that we just went over. And here's my example from another class. And I'll hold it up to you guys. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Um, if you'd like to share what you did, uh, you guys could just hold it up to your camera. Or if you want to keep working, you guys can start doing that too. So go, if you guys want to keep working, that's fine. If you guys want to hold it up, that's great too. But you only have about a couple more seconds and we're about to get going. All right, it looks like it's 9.30, so it looks like we do have to get going. All right, oh, I see Mia's picture, good job. Go ahead, hold it up. I see a couple other people's picture, awesome. Great job, guys. All right, well, uh, Nick and Mia's gotta get going. I gotta teach first grade, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, let's All right. Bye, guys. Um, can I draw a human?